Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg and I plead, Lord, to you need the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak. And Lord, I pray, I pray always to be pleasing to you, Lord, to be in your will and in your grace, to be counted worthy to escape what is to come. And I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor, forever and ever. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. And I am just the dust of the earth, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven, and I am God's dirt. I want to talk about something special that's been on my heart lately. I want to talk about what is the most dangerous book in the world. Warning. Here is the most dangerous, hated, and most banned book on earth. And we want to give it to you for free give you a free copy of it before it's banned in America. Now what is this most dangerous book in the world? According to many governments, leaders, politicians, and many more, what is the most banned book in the world? Well, what book is so legal that governments consider it so dangerous that they pass laws against it, banning it, banning you from owning it, buying it, and reading it? Did you know that this book is so dangerous in some countries that you can be executed for owning and reading this book. 52 countries have banned this dangerous book out of 193 total, so it is a significant number. And those numbers include Afghanistan, Iran, uh, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, Maldives, Mauritania, North Korea, Saudi Arabia, Somalia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Yemen, Algeria, Bhutan, Brunel, Brunei, China, Cuba, Djibouti, Interia, Kuwait, Laos, Libya, Malaysia, Morocco, Oman, Sudan, Tunisia, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Central African Republic, Colombia, Egypt, Ethiopia, India, Iraq, Jordan, Kenya, Lebanon, Mali, uh, Myanmar, Burma, Nepal, Niger, Nigeria, Pakistan, Philippines, Mindanao, Sri Lanka, Syria, Tanzania, Turkey, United Arab Emirates, and Vietnam. And that book is considered so dangerous that even Canada will soon be banning this very dangerous book as hate speech. Now, why is this book so dangerous? Because it is the Word of God. And it is truth. And Satan hates truth. And Satan hates the Word of God. And now, you know, in these last days, we cannot have truth or the Word of God. But they are not banning fake Bibles, only the King James Bible. I guess that proves which is the Word of God. And this book will tell you what is to come, as it always has. And the only book that can save you and me from what is to come. Now, in America, House Bill 1690, it easily passed the House by 320 to, uh, to 91 was the vote. And it has now been sent to the Senate, and from there it goes to the President to be signed into law. This is a hidden attempt where the word wording of this new bill would make it illegal to say anything against the Jews or even the fact that the Jews killed Jesus. This bill, H.R. 6090, was promoted as an anti-Semitism bill, but in fact this bill will ban the King James Bible. If the letter of the law is followed, it will ban, make illegal, the King James Bible in America. And here's how. 1 Thessalonians 2, 14 and 15. For ye, brethren, became followers of the churches of God which in Judea are in Christ Jesus. For ye also have suffered like things of your own countrymen, even as they have of the Jews, who both killed the Lord Jesus and their own proponents and have persecuted us and they please not God and are contrary to all men. Now the Bible has something to say uh, about this and this is shortly to come upon us. Amos 8, 11 and 12. Behold the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread or a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. And they shall run to and fro, and seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. 
This is why we are working very, very hard to get as many King James Bibles into the hands as, as to as many people as possible while we still can. Now, if you would like a copy of this most hated and banned book, email me or write me and we will send you a copy right out while we still can. Now, if you would like to place a Bible in a waiting room or a stack of King James Bibles on DVD and maybe possibly leave them in a restaurant near the cash register, just ask and, and we will send you uh, either printed Bibles uh, and or Bibles on DVD as well. Uh, you need to ask before you place these, but, but we've never been told no, even in restaurants. In fact, they even help clear off a spot near the cash register to, to set these DVDs. And if the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to support this work for God, then all we ask is that you be faithful to the Holy Spirit and help us spread the Word of God before it is banned. We have people in the mission fields all over the world who need Bibles, and sometimes these are delayed due to uh, limited supplies or funds for postage. If you, if you cannot walk like me, you still have a work that you can do for God. God bless you and God keep you and yours in His loving arms just like he held me. Now I pray, repent, and I do all that I do to get back into those loving arms again, back where I belong and where you belong as well, as there is nothing like being held in the Creator's arms and looking into the eyes of God. And you will see exactly what I saw in his eyes, nothing but love that the Creator has for his creation. So we work for God right up to that last trumpet blast calling us home, and on that day we will see you in paradise, and God will wipe away every tear, and there will be no more pain and no more suffering forever. Always remember that you are a precious child of the Most High Living God, the God of Israel, who loves you, who treasures you above all the gold of the earth and above all the stars of heaven, and we love and treasure you as well. So God bless you mightily, and we will keep you and your family in our prayers, with much love and more grace from above. Amen. Oh Lord, oh Lord, these are the last days, Lord. These are the last days. And then now people need to realize what we do, what we say, is so vitally important. It's so vitally important. As our days are numbered, our days are numbered. Every single day brings us one more day closer to the rapture. That great catching away. We will be in paradise forevermore with our Lord and Savior in perfect, glorified bo young bodies forever and ever. And we will see Jesus. And Jesus will hold, his, hold us in his loving arms. And we, we will look into the eyes of God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making me a watchman with dreams and visions and giving me a work to do in these last days, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.